Hi everybody, welcome to uh, Market Lake Wildlife Management Area. So, unlike uh, Camas, which is 20 miles up the road, this actually has water. And it has water year round, which is great if you want to see waterfowl. And you don't have to worry about farmers diverting all the water because the water subs up here. The Snake River is about a couple miles to the east and the water hits these old lava floods that are now basalt, right? And it hits that basalt and it subs up. So it's a great for seeing the waterfowl because back in the day, the fish and game decided, hey, we're gonna take 30 acres and we're gonna make that as a, a wildlife management area. And since then they expanded it to thousands of acres. So just a quick view over here past the Ducks Unlimited guy there's a, a lake back there big old pond lake and most of the area like half and half the area I think is sagebrush they've bought more ground over the years and expanded the, the sanctuary so we'll walk over here. So right now we're on a, a basalt knoll. So I'm trying to get out of the wind because East Idaho has this awesome wind because narrow valley caused by, you know, super volcano blowing up as it went to where its present day is. So here is just an overview of the vast majority of the area that actually has water. So we're that little red barn, you can see it way over there, that's private property. And just on the other side of it to the north is where this starts. And a couple years ago, maybe about five years ago, property across I-15 got bought by the fishing game to expand and there's an overpass just down this way that has a pond right next to the road where they kind of built something like this like a kiosk like this but it has a viewing place for people with handicaps so that's off of 800 north but for the most part like I said I got a canal that runs right next to the road. That's the main road down here in the, the little park area. It carries water along with the water that subs up naturally for all this waterfowl. And it's great, you don't have to worry about people diverting it for farming and spend nine miles driving around seeing nothing. So that's a little information kiosk up here on the knoll. It's kind of neat. Shows you, uh, you know, an idea of the wildlife that's here. Gives you a basic background that used to be a floodplain for about 12 square miles. And around 1900, they built the railroad, which is about a mile and a half, two miles maybe maybe not quite that far to the east of us over in the lava old lava flows over there and when they build it it cut off the cut off the floodplain so all you got now is the big robert slough which is a big old oxbow on the other side and it shows you that this was founded in 1956 uh, 30 acres originally purchased and they built up from there it shows you the there are 250 uh, species that come through here for everything from elk to trumpeter swans on um, you know all these uh all these uh waterfowl that are you know in transition going to their summer grounds up in the great white north stop here fatten up and then head on their journey and they do that when they're heading south too which is, you know, 
pretty cool that somebody was far-sighted enough to do this but at the same time I talked to old timers and they tell me that back in the day all these uh, you know all of the uh, all these places that were out here that had water subbing up from streams and the streams would go to the river or over in that direction and they said it used to be great fishing out here amazing fishing and then in the 50s they started building all these levees and stuff making this a, a waterfowl park so it would have been cool to see what it would been like back in the day and what kind of fishing you could have done out here but now there's just channel uh, cow cat and perch in these ponds so if you want to go fishing out here you can too but gonna be a lot of a lot of poop by a lot of birds so I'd be catching a release and I also I think it's uh, July 15th you can't go down some of these some of these little levees until after July 15th because of um, oh there we go it says right there so right here it says the main marsh and dikes are closed from April 1st to the 31st of July so, so over here you can't walk down this way. But this right here, this road right here, is paved. And yeah, this is old Highway 91. So this, is, so that actually this used to be a highway before they made this all marsh. And the highway came, you came through Roberts, and then you cut on the old highway. And then you know this used to be farm ground. Um, there's a cemetery right over here. A um, couple of headstones right on the other side of that Ducks Unlimited uh, vehicle. Um, dedicated to a doctor and his wife who originally owned the first 30 acres, I believe, that got purchased from them by the fishing game to start this whole process. But it's a neat little site. You will definitely see waterfowl here versus camas though seeing the moose and her baby and seeing the, the whitetail and her fawn that's pretty cool but I went up there to try to capture some waterfowl and yeah you gotta have water to do that here you got lots of lots of reeds you got muskrat I saw a muskrat when I took the little side road to drive up here to the knoll he was carrying some foliage back to the den and uh, yeah which is right off I-15. You guys can come this side all you want. <laughs> I know spots that I can go that the tourists won't go. So, but if you're coming up here and you're bored and you want a side diversion, you know, check it out. Market Lake Wildlife Management Area. Hopefully, hopefully that was a little informative. Y'all have a great day.